Hey, what up, what up, what up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm your boy Hot Rod, and I would like to welcome you all to BMF Gaming and Tech Tips. Today, we're going to be talking about the Galaxy S20, you know, the phone with the high screen refresh rate. This particular one is for you mobile gamers on how to set your Galaxy S20 to run at 90 frames per second or 120 frames per second. Now, as far as everyone knows, this phone has a 120 hertz display. Some people would think that everything they do on this device is running at 120 hertz. That's what gives you that buttery smoothness. But this is not the case. The developer who makes that app that runs on your device has to optimize that app in order for it to run at 120 hertz or 90 hertz for however many frames per second. So if they set it to 90, it's going to run at 90. If not, it's going to default to 60. And also, with that being said, there is also, I would say, an issue with Samsung. Well, it's not an issue. It's something that they implemented inside of the phone that uh, brings the phone back down to 60 hertz. And you can see I got my hand cam here, trying a little something different here. And I just lost my video feed. There we go. All right. So let's go here. So looking at one of the community sites for Samsung is showing that the S20 Ultra forces 60 hertz even on games, which supports 90 slash 120 FPS. So this also goes for the plus. Uh, or just a regular S20. So. so just reading through these, all these comments, this one guy was talking about disabling the GOS, which is what we're going to talk about next. And me, myself, I did it. I'll leave the link to this app down in the comments section. And I believe that app was $4.99. Let's see, so it's the Packet Disabler Pro. So that's what I ended up purchasing. And that's what's going to get you guys to that 90 frames per second, 120 frames per second. All right. So with that being said, uh, I pretty much uh, play PUBG Mobile. So it's the mobile version of PUBG on a PC. Yeah, we the we the small ones, just on the mobile. And uh, this game here, they just did an update, and the update allowed the players to bump the graphics up to 90 FPS, which would give you a way smoother gameplay. It wouldn't be glitchy. And so, seeing it was available, so I switched my device over to it. Boom, cool. All right, I think I'm playing the game in 120 hertz, but I wasn't. I was still going at 60 hertz. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you guys a little demo, show you guys that my display is at 100, set for 120 hertz or 120 frames per second. And I'm going to show you on my CPU watch that the FPS stays at 60 frames per second. Sometimes it drops down to 40 and it fluctuates between 40 and 60 with this uh, game optimization service that Samsung has on this device. All right, so let's go ahead and go ahead and just show you guys exactly what I got going on here. So. This is my little game launcher here in Samsung. I'm not going to hit the beta version. I'm going to go to the regular PUBG mobile version. All right. And right at the top of the screen, you should see the frames per second. Should give you current, medium, and the stability or stable, whichever one you want to call it. I don't know. All right, so right now you're looking at current FPS on that is 60. It's fluctuating at 60. 
I don't know if I can zoom in on this. See if I can get this down on there for you guys. Nah, it's getting a little blurry. But yeah, so here we go. So right now, at 60 frames per second, fluctuating. Going to a little game mode or going to the training room. Yeah, I want to go in. And I don't know if you guys, you guys are able to see it just a little bit up on the screen. Maybe if I blow this up for you guys a little bit. Bit of hit. Let me get it against a white background. All right, so you see it. Still hovering around 60 FPS. All right. And I have my display set for 120. Lost my display over there. There we go. Now it's back. All right. So go in here gonna go to settings display motion smoothness so that's what 60 Hertz looks like on one side and 120 on the other so it's supposed to make it a whole lot smoother so right now it's set for high I'm gonna go to standard apply and go back to high and apply all right that's where it was okay but the problem is this gaming optimization that Samsung has on here. And this, guys, it worked for me. Not sure about anyone else. I don't know if anyone else even realized that your game wasn't running at 60 FPS. All right, right here, game optimization service. So we're going to disable that, all right? After you disable that, you need to go and find a file, platform tools for Windows. So you go in, gonna right click, and you wanna extract all. So me, I extract it to my desktop, I already did that. So, but you can select where you want to extract it to. So you can just go up, click on desktop. And that's where that file will go. So once it goes to your desktop, actually, I'll go ahead and just make it a... ADB2. I'll just make that folder ADB2. So I want to go to that folder on my desktop, select that folder, and we're going to extract it. After you unzip it, you'll get this folder called Platform Tools. Rename it to ADB. All right. Once you rename it to ADB, you're going to Click on it, drag it, and drop it straight into your C directory. Now, I already have it in my C directory, so I'm not going to do the exact same thing again. But after you do that, all right, we need to go to Command Prompt. So we're going to type in CMD. All right, CMD. All right, so next you're going to type in this command line. CD, C, colon, uh, backslash, 
a D B and we're going to hit enter. That's what you should have something. I forgot to tell you guys. Okay. In order for this to work, you need to make sure that USB debugging is on. USB debugging has to be on. And in order for you to get to USB debugging, typically, if you guys really don't tinker with your phone that much, this is what your screen will look like. You won't have developer options down at the bottom. So in order for you to get developer options, you need to hit about phone all right then system information okay so at system information you're going to click on the bill number several times and you will see it pop up so the developer mode has already been turned on hit bill number several times and then it will say now you are a developer you back out and that would be an option for you down here at the very bottom developer options all right so you want to go into developer options ensure that usb debugging is on after that's done that's when you would go on the computer go into your command prompt type everything i showed you in and voila that should get you going all right so with that being done you're going to type in adb devices to see if the computer picks it up Yes, picked it up. There we go. So once you type in ADB devices, it should find your device. And then the next thing that you would do, you would type in this, which I already have it all ready to go here. So you're going to type in ADB space shell settings. Put system peak refresh rate 120. All right. So after you do that, hit enter. And this is what I typically do. I mean, you could put system peak refresh rate at 90 and system um, minimum at 60. Um, I haven't tried it like that. I normally go peak refresh rate 120 and minimum 90. So. The next one I'm going to do here is going to be 90. So we're going to put that in. 90. Bam. All right. So now that that is done, what I'm going to do here, I am going to restart my device. All right. Phone is restarting. Let's see if I can get a closer shot in there for you guys. All right, so now not connected to my display and someone may say that the reason why you were getting 60 frames per second is because you were using your capture device and that was bringing it back down to 60. Now that will happen, that will happen, but it wasn't until after I did this process that it bumped up to 90 frames per second. All right. so. Now I'm going to go to game launcher. Actually, I need to go back to settings. I need to go to developer options. Just to show you guys that it did work. Going into developer options and I'm going to look for GPU watch. All right. That's GPU watch. All right. I'm going to turn that on. App to watch app we want to look at better yet let me unplug it here because I am done with that see if I can get this my display back up on the screen for you guys okay there we go so so you want to enable GPU watch after you enable GPU watch app to watch you want to go down and find whatever app it is that you're currently playing me myself is PUBG mobile so I'm going to be looking for PUBG should be coming up here in PUBG mobile 
All right. Rendering API. You want to select OpenGL. All right. Widget settings. I have my background down kind of low. And all I want to look at is just the FPS, the frames per second. That's all I want to see on the screen. That's what I want it to show me. All right. So now I'm going to unplug again. So this way my monitor doesn't restrict my phone at 60 FPS. All right. So I'm going to unplug that. I'm going to go back into PUBG. All right, there we go. Ran at about 90, 93 frames per second. See that? Yep. Right at 90. For you guys that do play PUBG, you need to go in the settings, go to graphics, and as you can see, there's a setting there for 90 frames per second. All right, there's my boy Spartan. Go ahead and jump in on with him. So, with that being said, guys, I am actually going to. Uh, jump in this game with these guys. There we go. Jump in the game with these guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, um, for the oh, I'm sorry, things touching my screen. Go ahead and get loaded into the game real quick before I back out. So, with all of that being said. You guys need to get the Package Disabler Pro, and you need to get the uh, ADB zip files. I'll put everything down in the uh, description. It'll be a link to both of them, so that way you guys can go in and find them. And you guys have a great day, and I hope you guys learned something. This is your boy, Hot Rod. I'm out. Peace. Oh, guys, one more thing. Don't forget to leave a comment below. Give me a like or a dislike. Let me know what you thought about the video, whether or not it helped you or not. And subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so that way you can get notifications of new video uploads. But, guys, hope you enjoyed the video again. I'm your boy Hot Rod. I'm about to check out of here. So you guys have a good weekend and peace.